this is a really nice uh, a really nice uh, tench. This is uh, seven pounds, uh, 15 ounces, uh, almost an eight pounder, but uh, not quite, but uh, really quite pleased with it. So, uh, caught it on uh, maggot. Um, in fact, I just changed the line I was uh, fishing. I was going a little bit further out uh, by a few rod lengths. So, uh, within five minutes, had this one. So, uh, good result. So, uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's slip her back. Well, here we have another uh, another tench. This one's uh, this one's eight thirteen, so a really really good fish. So I caught this one almost uh, pretty well directly after the the other one. So quite uh, quite pleased. It'll certainly be a big nine pounder later on in the season for uh, for sure. But uh, yeah, really really pleased with it. Let's uh, let's slip her back and see if I can uh, catch another. I'd like to catch a double or a nine if I could. Whoa. What a fish, eh? Well, <laughs> I gotta say this is uh, something a little bit special. I had a, uh, a double hookup. This is, uh, whoops, this is nine pounds, one ounces. So <laughs> really nice, uh, really nice fish. Put up a hell of a scrap on the, uh, on the, uh, on the seven, eight pound line I was using. So uh, yeah, really pleased with this. So uh, still nowhere near spawning yet. So still a fair ways to go, but uh, yeah, what a fish. A really, really big, deep fish. Absolutely beautiful. Nine pound one ounces, so uh, really chuffed, really chuffed with this. Then when I was playing that one, this little beastie, which is uh, seven and a half pounds, uh, picked up the uh, the other rod, and uh, lucky enough, I was uh, managed to land it, and I managed to land two of them in the same uh, in the same net. So uh, so really pleased. So what a what a great couple of minutes uh, fishing, all on red maggot and uh, plastic tea rig. So uh, fantastic. Anyway, let's slip them back. Well, I can't really complain at this. This is uh, a couple of really big tents that I've got. Blimey. So these are a couple of really big uh, tents I've got. This one going back. Oh, what a beast. What a beast. Nine pound, uh, nine pound one ounce. What a fish, eh? What a fish. And this one is uh, seven and a half pounds as well. So uh, not a fish to be uh, sniffed at for sure. So uh, let's pop it back. Well, this is turning out to be a, uh, a wonderful session. This one is uh, eight pounds, uh, 10 ounces. Uh, Nigel Bray has just uh, moved into the swim next door to me, so he uh, he gave me the weight and uh, measured it for me. But what a fish, eh? This is my second uh, eight pounder, and I've had a nine. So what a session! This is absolutely fantastic. Um, all because I decided to cast a little bit further when I found some gravel. So really pleased with this. So anyway, what I better do is uh, let's put her back, shall we? Slip her back. Well, this is it. This is a lovely, a lovely big tench. This one's uh... Whoa. This one's eight pounds, uh... eight pound ten ounces. 
What about that for a lovely looking fish? Absolutely tremendous. You won't get much better than that. What a fish. What a truly amazing fish. Thank you. <laughs> well, I've got to say, that was a really, uh, a really hectic uh, afternoon there. I'm going to have to add up and see uh, how many fish I've had, but I think it's at least a half a dozen. It could be even seven or eight. Um, but it really has been hectic. Uh, as I say, at one stage I had a double hookup. I had a, a nine-one and a, a seven and a half pounder. So uh, both in the net at the, the same time. And I've just, uh, yeah, and I've just uh, let another one off about six pound because it got tangled in the uh, in the other line, and I want to get cast out again. So uh, yeah, unbelievable. Uh, might quieten down a bit now, but um, yeah, what a lovely, lovely afternoon that is. Quality fishing for sure. Well, unbelievably, that's uh, 10 tench I've had so far uh, this afternoon. What a marathon session. Absolutely fantastic. You'd think now that uh, they just start to go off the, uh, the boil as dusk is uh, coming. I'm bleeding starving as well. I need some uh, fish and chips. And I've got my good friend Nigel Bray here, so no doubt I'll call in and get a pack of four and we'll share... Uh, Share a yarn or two and uh, have a couple of beers each. What a way to finish the day. Absolutely fan bloody tastic.
Well, this is day two of the uh, of the session. It's uh, reasonably early in the morning. It's uh, six o'clock in the morning. I've seen uh, one tench roll so far, but uh, judging by how things uh, went yesterday, I probably won't get much action until the the afternoon. But uh, as I say, I've seen one roll, so that's uh, that's really good. But yeah, you can see the wind's now blowing from the south and blowing down into the bay, which is which is really good and encouraging. <laughs> probably mean I won't catch anything, but hey ho. It's uh, a nice and pleasant morning. I think we've had some strong winds later and some showers, but uh, let's see how we get on. Well, this is a, a 25 pound three ounce uh, carp. Really, pretty pleased with this. It's a huge fish. <laughs> Not really what I want to catch on tench tackle, but hey ho. But uh, let's uh, let's slip her back. But <laughs> what a fight from this fish! Could you? Well, that was a little bit of excitement to say the very least. A um, couple of a uh, couple of reasonable size carp, a couple of twenties to. Uh, don't go miss, but you can see the wind's really picking up now. Apparently it's got to get up to 40 mile an hour uh, winds today, so uh, it's just starting to spot with rain, but I um, <laughs> can't really complain with the first few hours this morning. You know, a tench of seven pound uh, one ounces and uh, two uh, 20 pound carp is, uh, is good going. I've got to say it was <laughs> good fun trying to land it on the tench gear, but uh, hey, we managed it, so, so it's good. So. Uh, Put a bit more bait out, so we'll see. Uh, we'll just see how we get on. As I say, it's getting pretty, uh, pretty rough out there just at the minute. It's going to make casting a little bit awkward, but um, if I aim to the left, then uh, it should work. Anyway, fingers crossed, I catch a few more. This is a beast and a half. This one is uh, 29 pound 11 ounces. So fantastic work by uh, work by Nigel Bray to help me land it. So uh, that's some really good advice. So uh, yeah, give some us really a smile. Yeah, that's really good. You okay? Loads of feathers. Yeah, hold on. Uh, it's um, exposures dropping there. The arms are. That'll have to do you. Here we go. This is 29, 10 ounces. So really good. 29.11. 29.11. Thank you, Nigel. We'll pop her back. What a fish. <laughs> well, I've got to say, that's uh, some wind now. I've got gusts up to about 40 mile an hour. I'm a bit sheltered just where I am, but blimey. Casting to the, uh, to the distance with this wind, it's uh, putting a big bow in the line, so I've uh, just, uh, just compensated that for a little bit on my marker, so... Uh, Fingers crossed they uh, should start be, uh, still be feeding, but it is blooming windy. <laughs> but that should uh, stir things up, so keep your fingers crossed there, as I say. Let's see if I'm lucky. This is a magnificent 24 pounds, 8 ounce uh, carp. <laughs> what a fantastic session I'm having. Not many tench, but uh, lots and lots of carp. As I say, 24 and a half pound this one. So uh, pretty good. A lot of fun on, uh, a lot of fun on uh, tench gear, but uh, let's get it back quickly. It's not very often you catch a, a PB, but uh, blimey, this one's uh, 33 Absolute pounds, big. 6 ounces. 
no, 30, 33 pounds, three ounces. So really a fantastic fish. So really chuffed with this. Fantastic. What a hell of a fight. Thanks Steve for helping me out with this. No Absolutely problem at fantastic. all. It's an absolute pleasure. Uh, uh, well that's angled. fantastic. On fire today. Yeah, this is the sixth, uh, sixth carp. Anyway, I better put it down. She's getting heavy. Lovely. Should we... Uh, Right, so we finished photos oh, and stuff. Yeah, put them yeah. in there. We might have to give the guys a buzz right. because they want to photograph anything over 30. Right, okay, so let's put it back in here. Yeah. It's floating in the, in the lake. Yeah. I'll give Miles a buzz. Yep, give him a ring. Well, it might be a known fish, perhaps. Yeah. 